Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Semantic Ghost. Here we are on Client 1. I've already installed Semantic Ghost on this computer. The first thing we're going to do is to create a bootable CD that will allow us to connect a remote computer with our Ghost server. I'm going to use the Windows PE because it has a lot of features in it. All I need is a standard Ghost Boot disk. If I wanted to, I could choose a particular computer to point to, but the method I'm going to use won't require it. I can either use normal DHPC to assign the IP address on the remote computer or I can provide a specific address. I'm satisfied with using DHPC. I want to burn this to a CD, but I want to use my own burner program to burn the image. And so I'll choose create a CD image. I'll name the image Go CD and save it on the desktop. I don't need to add any additional files so I'll click next. Great, it made the CD image. I'll burn the CD and come right back. Okay, let me set up the Ghostcast server which will be used to record the information on the remote hard drive. First I'll create a session name. And then I'll tell it I wanted to create an image of the hard drive on the local computer. I'll create a new folder called Ghost Image. And just call the file name Test. I'll tell the Ghostcast server to start accepting any requests that come in. Okay, now we're booting the remote computer with the CD we just created. It's going to load the Semantic Ghost Client on the remote computer. Notice that the Windows PE version looks similar to Windows Vista. I'm going to click on Ghostcast Server and choose Unicast which is one to one. I'll put the name test run like I put on the Ghostcast server and I'll put in the specific IP address of the Ghostcast server. This is asking what partition do I want to upload. And here I'm going to choose high in order to have a high compression. Okay, the Ghostcast client is now uploading the hard drive image up to the Ghostcast server. Take a look and you can see that the percentage of the hard drive image is being uploaded. Now let's see what's happening at the Ghostcast server. We can see that the Ghostcast server sees the connection to the client server and gives its IP address and MAC address and is also monitoring the upload. I have fast forward the video so we don't have to go all the way through the upload. We can see that it's finishing up the process. There, transfer complete. 
here is where the image is located. Now, if I want to upload this Ghostcast image to another hard drive, I would choose Restore Image and then click the Accept button. Now, let's take a quick look at the client again. It tells us it's finished. That completes our upload to the Ghostcast server. Semantic Ghost is a wonderful way to make multiple copies of a representative computer software. I hope this video has been informative and I thank you for viewing.